I'm Dawn Cannon, uh, QA team lead at Ultimus in Cochrane. Uh, so I talked about agile testing. I've been doing agile testing for a couple of years and sort of described how to integrate it into a team that either is transitioning to agile or uh, is already working under agile uh, methodologies. And I sort of just did combined a list of uh, concerns that the people in the group had had. had. And most of them revolved around whether developers should do testing as well, uh, how to define acceptance tests, uh, when what makes good agile testing practices. And the kinds of things we came up with, I think, initially really centered around uh, what Lisa Crispin and Janet Gregory have coined the power of three, which is for any user story or any feature or work you're going to do, you get three people in a room, the dev, a, a developer is going to work on it, a tester, and somebody who represents the customer, the product owner or the business analyst and have the three of them walk through all of the details around this specific story. Uh, this brings out the customer acceptance criteria pretty early. The tester can ask questions that are going to help define some of these things. The developer can offer their insight into the technology behind what is going on. And once this conversation is over, uh, perhaps the tester and the developer can get into some more technical conversations about exactly what's going to be tested on the, on the uh, functional level as well as the acceptance level. And we talked about... Um, uh, regression testing and how and how that is structured and how that looks in a process. Uh, obviously, there's unit testing, but functional and acceptance tests are also considered part of regression testing as continued development goes on. Uh, we did have a question about running regression tests and how fast they take and how long they are, and we decided that um, if we create suites for tests, we can have a smoke test level that runs at the CI um, or from the CI server, and we can sort of create bigger sets of tests that are just run not quite as frequently, but that cover more, more of, of an application. Uh, we did uh, decide that CI servers should be replaced something like once a year, because they're cheap, hardware is cheap, and we want to create a good, robust, fast system for doing these things. <laughs> and then we talked a little bit about sort of layers of testing, and I described uh, the UA level and some of the tools that I've worked with on the UI level, Selenium, Water, Watton, SWAT, these sorts of things, functional level, where fit and fitness come into play, uh, web services or data level, and the unit level of testing. So thank you very much.